Hello students, in today's class what I am going to teach you is the packing fraction of the hexagonal closed packing system, okay, in two dimension. So what is in two dimension packing fraction, okay, in two dimension we have to measure the area occupied, okay, divided by the total area. Okay, in 3D what we will measure usually, so the volume occupied, so we have to know the difference, okay. So the volume occupied divided by the total volume of the unit cell, okay. So this is the difference. So here, now coming to the hexagonal close, pack, close packing system, so how it will be placed. So if I have to arrange the atoms, okay, first in one dimension only we used to arrange, no, so like this. We used to arrange in one dimension. Okay. So in two dimensions. So the next layer I have to arrange. So how I will do. I, I cannot arrange like this. If, if I arrange like this. This is what. This is square packing. So I have to arrange it like this. Okay. You know. Uh, you, you would have seen how vendors would have arranged fruits on their. Uh, uh, no. On their uh, cart. Okay. So the third layer. It will be like this. Okay. So here I am going to take this hexagon. Okay. So this makes one unit cell. This makes okay one unit cell. So I am going to label it as what? So this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D, this is E and this is F. And one more center atom is there. So here what is the area of this hexagon? So, area of hexagon. What? So, we have given, we have labeled like this, no? So, hexagon will be equal to, so how to measure this area? Okay, so I am going to tell, see please kindly watch. See here, the center point, no? So, I am going to give, label it as O. So, if I draw a triangle, Okay, so I am going to write 6 times the area of triangle, okay, AOB. So, how I did this? You see how many such triangles I can draw in this hexagon? I can draw 6 such triangles. So, the area of the whole hexagon will be what? 6 times the area of this particular triangle. So, now what we have to do? We have to find out the area of the triangle so that for that I am going to draw this triangle separately you see I am going to draw this triangle separately so this is what A this is A the O A B so how the atoms are placed here so here is one atom and here is another atom and this is another atom so this is center okay center point okay so you know area of triangle what is the formula students so that will be half into we know base into height okay so what is the base here so this is the base so this is the base so what is the length of this base you see it is from center to the circumference and the center to circumference this is one radius and another this is another radius so i can write it as 2r right so another one height to measure the height so i can substitute in the formula half is equal to 2r but to measure the height how to measure the height you see what what is the angle here what is the angle here it is 60 degree correct it is 60 degree so i am going to take you know sin theta is equal to so if it is 2r this is also 2r correct so here two atoms are touching each other this side is also 2r so sin theta is equal to h divided by 2r okay so i am going to substitute the value of theta as 60 degree okay the angle here is 60 degree right so what a sine 60 is equal to h by 2r. You know what is the value of sine 60? Sine 60 is equal to root 3 by 2. Right? Root 3 by 2. So, hence we have derived. So, 2, 2 cancels out. So, h is equal to root 3r. Okay? So, we have found out this. So, I am going to substitute it here. Okay? So, root 
3 are so 2 2 gets cancelled out so the area of the triangle is equal to root 3 r square okay so what we can do so we can substitute the whole value here okay so the area of the unit cell so unit cell here is what hexagon so 6 into area of the triangle we found out root 3 r squared so root 3 r squared this is 6 root 3 r squared area of the unit so this is the total area of the unit cell out of this we have to find out the area occupied okay so let's move on to the packing fraction so what is packing fraction in two dimension area occupied by atoms okay divided by total area of the unit cell so this we have found out so what is the area occupied by the atoms for this we must know okay the effective number of atoms okay so the number of atoms effectively present in one unit cell into okay so the area of an atom okay divided by the total area of the unit cell so to find out we have to find out z so to find out z we know i'm going to draw this again so this is a hexagon right this is a hexagon and how the atoms are present here you see the atoms are present all over the corners and, and one more center atom is there so if i take this particular corner you see i can draw one more hexagon here and another hexagon here so the corner atoms you see the corner atoms are shared by how many unit cells the corner atoms are shared by three unit cells right how many corner atoms are there so what is the contribution of the corner atom it is one by three okay you see it is shared by another uh, two hexagons totally a corner atom is shared by three hexagons so the contribution is one by three so how many corners are there so corner atom the contribution in hexagon is 1 by 3 and how many corners are there there are 6 6 so 2 the effective okay the z value for the corner atom is equal to 2 okay and one middle atom is there and this is its contribution is what its contribution is 100 percentage so the number of atoms is 1 so plus 1 okay so it is the z value of the HCP in the two dimensional system is equal to 3. Okay, so shall we substitute here? So 3 into. So what is the area of an atom in 2D? The area of the atom looks like a circle. So it is what? Pi r square. And what is the total area of the unit cell? Just now we have found out. No, just now we have found out. So substitute it. So r square r square get cancelled this is 1 by 2 so you will get pi divided by 2 root 3 if you solve this you will get 0 0.91 so in percentage okay packing fraction in percentage will be 91 percentage see how efficiently it has been packed so what is the percentage of free space percentage of free space is what 100 minus 91 is equal to 9 percentage okay so where can you apply this in your day-to-day -day life if you have to pack your bag you can follow this trend in two dimension if you pack if you have to pack tiles you can pack like this rather than this you can occupy more space so in day-to-day -day life you can use this okay hope this video uh, was useful to you thanks for watching